Hello, my friends. Are you guys ready to jump back on the road to Calvary with me? Oh, I sure hope so. Now, yesterday on Sunday, we met an angel because on Sundays we look ahead. But now, Monday through Saturday, we look around at what we might see at Calvary. The last time that we talked about what Jesus and his disciples were up to, remember they were going to be going into the upper room to have a feast, Hmm, the Passover feast. Well, now it's time for us to go back into that upper room to see what they're up to, okay? So our devotion for today says that we are supposed to read John 1, 13, 1 through 5. I have my Bible right here. I am all ready to go. Are you guys ready to listen? I hope so. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Do you hear all of that love? Oh, that's right. Let's see what happens next. During supper, uh uh-oh, when the devil had already put it in the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, he rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments. So that would be like, have you guys ever worn like a lot of layers? Like maybe you've got on uh, uh, like joggers or leggings and maybe like a t-shirt and then you put maybe a sweatshirt over the top and then maybe you put on kind of like a jacket or a robe, like if you can imagine that a little bit. Yeah, so he took off his outer garments. He still had his underclothes on, like like again, like the joggers or the leggings and a t-shirt. He still had something on underneath, but he took his outer cloak off, that's right. And taking the towel, he tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to, what do you think? He began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that he had just wrapped around him. Wow, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff that would be on Jesus' mind at this point. He knows that very soon um, he's going to die. He knows that Judas is going to betray him. He knows all of this stuff. And what does he think about? He thinks about taking care of his disciples and showing his love for them by washing their feet. Wow, that is really cool isn't a big enough word, but I'll use that word. That is really cool. Let's see what the title of our devotion is for today. It is a towel. Wow, we heard about that, didn't we? Jesus tied it around his waist and then used it to dry the disciples' feet. Okay, let's keep going here. It says, look at that towel just lying there and that bowl of water. Everyone's feet needed washing, but nobody wants to do the dirty work. Everyone is looking at everyone else. Finally, Jesus takes the towel and the bowl and washes the disciples' feet. It's like, who's gonna take out the trash? Or who's going to clean up when someone drops a dozen eggs? Do you think Jesus would? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now I wonder, would you? Mm, That's a good question, isn't it? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for humbling yourself so that we might be clean from all our sins. Make us willing to serve as you did. In your name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, friends, this is so good, right? So we were in the upper room before the feast of the Passover, and then we stepped into the room during the feast of the Passover, and Jesus was washing the disciples' feet. Do you remember when he washed you from your sins in holy baptism? Do you, maybe I was a baby, so I don't remember when that happened, but I know the day that I was baptized. I was baptized on November 24th, 1981. When was your baptism? Hmm. Maybe you can email me and let me know. Your parents know how to get a hold of me if you want to do that, okay? I love you so much, friends, and I'll meet you back on the road to Calvary tomorrow. Bye.